In this segment, we're going to be creating this formal cascade bouquet. Let me show you how it's done. It's just beautiful. I love those for more later in the day weddings, evening weddings, long gown dresses. Works well for that kind of an affair. So we need a, a stand to design on. And these foam bouquet holders, this is dry, needs a good soaking before you get started. I've got one here. And this is the foam holder already soaked. I'm going to place it in the stand. I've already added some ivy. It's really important to get your shape. It means a lot. Everything else will fall into place. So get a cute little ivy plant and cut up the pieces you need. Clean off the ends, give it a cut, and that's what you would put into. So create your length, first of all, but go to the base of this, the holder, right here. Don't shoot it up here. You need to get your shape first. And then same with the top. Go to the back of the holder, back part. Then work forward. Get your shape like that first. So you want to go into the foam a good inch to two inches. Don't go in and out with the foam because you want it to stay in place. You don't want flowers falling out down the aisle. Try to get it in the, the place. If you do need to change the spot, use a different location. So going into the foam. So I've already kind of, as you can see, got my shape. I'm going to work a little bit into the middle, fill that in a touch. Down. Cut. And add it into the foam. I'll just do one more and we'll get going on the flowers. Okay. So, a beautiful flower to work with with cascades is a flowing dendrobium orchid. It's fabulous because you're already getting your drip with it. So you need to decide on how long you want your cascade part and just cut it. So now you have a good two inch clean stem to put in up into to get your cascade feeling. It's in there good and secure. I'm going to remove that one because I need it to go into the foam. And I'm working towards the back of the holder because I don't want it to be shooting out you want it to flow on the dress. So I like to do sort of the middle one and two on the sides, right up into it. So you're getting yourself a flow down like a, a waterfall. Now the rest of these are perfect for cutting to varying lengths of what you can use. So you get, they get to go quite a long ways. Now up here, I'm putting the stems like that. What I'm trying to do now is I'm going to the back of the bouquet and I'm creating my shape with these nice cut, cut off pieces. Get your shape. There. Now with the smaller parts, you can add those to the center to start filling in. It's a nice one here. I'll put that up in there. Going in, just Pushing it in a good inch till you feel it's nice and secure. So one more piece. I've done all the dendrobiums. See that beautiful design already? And it's only three stems of dendrobiums. And the little cutoffs you could use for a boutonniere or a corsage. So now the large flowers I'll use are the peonies. So I don't want them, you don't want to cut it too long because you want it to flow closer to the bouquet. So I'm going to put one in this gap right there, tuck it down, fits in perfectly. Sometimes I've got to put it towards me to see where I'm going to go. I'm going to go right here, put that in. Beautiful. Now I know I need one right here, if you can see. Cut that a little bit shorter. Nice to get the exact length you need. It's perfect. I think I'll try and put one in here. 
take off your leaves, you don't need that. This is just gonna pull it down a tiny bit. So I'm kind of going to sort of the center of that holder now. That's looking good. And I think I need one right here. You're trying to just get a nice shape going with the, with the pieces. That's good. So now I'm going to get some freesia, which I have here. And start working your shapes. Get rid of the long bits. Start filling in with freesia in the holes. So I've got a gap here. And this is going to give you the final touches to get the shape you need. Go to the side like that. This side. Get my put that in. Let's put another one up here. Just keep working until you feel you've got the pretty look you need. Put this one right here. Cut it a little bit more. And see how it's starting to get flowing and in the shape I need. Probably maybe put another one there. But we've got that cascading feeling. Now what you want to do is it has to come back because you don't want all the flowers falling. You want the bride to be able to see it the flowers as well. Remember that when you're making it. But always you want to finish the back like we did here. Put that to the side. You have to finish the back. So the holder comes with these holes. I like to finish because it's just plastic and kind of dull. I don't want to show all that plastic. So in these little holes I put the Italian Ruscus in to fill in the holes, and then I tie around the handle just a simple little bow with organza so you don't see all that white plastic. And then it's perfect, see? You hold it close to the body, you've got the flow and the cascading effect. Take your time, it is a big one to learn, but once you know it, it's really great. And always give it the shake test, you don't want things falling out.